If you do any sort of work in the garage or around the house, you need a Centipede portable workbench. This ingenious tool collapses down to almost nothing, yet it can support a huge amount of weight. Each of these cast iron engine blocks is around 190 pounds, and I weigh, well, considerably less than that, but the Centipede can support all of this, plus a whole lot more. Manufactured by a company called Bora Tool, the Centipede is offered in a variety of different sizes. This one happens to be four feet by two feet and 30 inches tall right to there. But you can also get these in four by four, four by six, and even a whopping four foot by eight foot variant. And for reference, that is the size of a standard sheet of building material like plywood or drywall. Depending on the model, two Centipede heights are offered, 30 inches, like you see here, and 36. For added flexibility, optional risers are offered, adding six inches of height. Plenty of other accessories are available too, but more on those in a minute. For more information on the Centipede and its variations, and of course to check the current price, make sure to hit the link in the description box below. The Centipede is super light. This one clocks in at just 12 and a half pounds without any additional accessories, though it is super strong, able to support up to 2,500 pounds, more than twice what you saw earlier. Of course, larger centipedes can support even more, 3,500, 4,500, even 6,000 pounds. That's a full three tons for the four foot by eight foot model. And for reference, that is enough to support a Chevrolet Silverado 1500 crew cab trail boss pickup and still have room for a couple passengers. As tools go, the centipede couldn't be simpler. The whole thing deploys in about two seconds. I mean, you basically just slide it open. The legs telescope as you unfurl or retract the workbench, while thin metal links triangulate these supports, providing immense strength. Despite looking as flimsy as a box kite, this thing is seriously solid and easy to use. The so-called P-tops allow you to attach a range of accessories to the centipede, from included quick clamps, to non-slip pads that hold projects in place, to those risers I mentioned earlier. This top is an accessory too, and from Bora Tools, it goes for about $79, though honestly, it should be standard. Now, yes, you could make something similar out of plywood, but it's not gonna be as nice or as versatile. Now, this tabletop connects to the centipede with six of these pins. They come up from the bottom, you turn them and it locks everything in place. Though I've gotta say, this design is a little bit kludgy. It's kinda of hard to get them in place. It's a little bit difficult to turn them. And then one other issue I noticed, several of these, two of these metal inserts in the fiberboard top aren't set quite deep enough into the material. So when you come up with the pin and go to turn it, it won't go. You can't get it to twist and lock in place. So what I had to do is just file the back side of the pin to relieve it a little bit. After I did that, they turn and lock in place as they should. Not the best thing in the world, but it was an easy fix. The 2x4 Centipede comes with four X cups and two quick clamps. Now these X cups here are designed to work with 2x4s. They can hold them either horizontally or if you turn them 90 degrees vertically and they just slide into the tabletop like that. And these are handy for if you're sawing a piece of lumber or maybe drilling it or something. No, they don't hold it in place quite like a proper clamp, but they're good enough for light duty work. These quick clamps also go right into the holes of the tabletop here, just like that. So what you do, slide your project underneath there, then you press down on the middle of the clamp pretty hard, and they'll actually do a decent job holding things in place. I was surprised, though again, they're not gonna hold things quite as tightly as a proper clamp, but again, for light duty work, they're more than adequate. Non-slip pads are another useful accessory you can get for this portable workbench, and predictably they pop right into these holes in the working surface, which again should probably be standard. Anyway, these things are great for preventing projects or parts from sliding around while you're working on them. Very good for, let's just say, delicate things that you may not want to put a traditional clamp on. And I've gotta say, in testing these things, they work really pretty well. 
One of the handiest add-ons you can get for the Centipede are these risers. They elevate the working surface by about six inches to bring it to a much more comfortable height. Now, to add these, what you have to do is remove the P-top, swap the riser in, and then attach the P-top to the top of the riser. You do that with a 19 millimeter or a three quarter inch socket. It's very easy to do, though a word of warning, when you're attaching these, do not over tighten them. The threads are just plastic. It's very easy to strip them out. Oh, but one quick thing, there was actually a small error in the instructions that came with those risers. The instructions show two different nuts for attaching the P-top and the riser. It's actually one nut that goes with the P-top and then a little thumb screw that you use for the riser. I mean, if you tried to use the thumb screw on the P-top, you'd never be able to get your fingers in there to tighten it. Finally, we have these accessory hooks, which unlike some of those other add-ons attach directly to the P-tops. Basically, they come up from the bottom, you give them a quarter turn, and then they lock into place. And they're a great spot to hang an extension cord or an air hose or, I don't know, cure sausages or something. You do you, I'm not gonna judge. Considering its strength, versatility, and featherweight construction, you may expect this portable workbench to cost big bucks, but that is not the case. In its base form, this one goes for just about $90, while the most expensive centipede is a little bit more than 200 bucks. Also, all of those accessories are very reasonably priced, and of course, there are many more available than we showed you in this video. The centipede here is one of the most ingenious tools I have seen in a very long time. Now, no, it is not perfect. It could certainly be improved in several ways, but overall, I'd say this thing is probably 95% there. For more information on the Centipede or to purchase one, hit the link below. I think you'll really be impressed.